Hi, and welcome to my classroom. My name is Christopher Youngren, and I'm a middle school ELA teacher in Tucson, Arizona. Now, I love this game because it gets kids on their feet and moving. Now, kids these days spend so much time in front of screens. Heck, we all spend so much time in front of screens right now. They're uh, going to online school, they're playing on-screen video games, they're watching Netflix, etc. And this really gets them up and the blood circulating and the body moving, and it's awesome. Uh, it also teaches effective listening skills, it teaches focus, and it's also good for kids who might be a little reticent, maybe a, maybe a little shy, uh, because everybody is doing the exact same thing. So sometimes if they're a little embarrassed or they don't want to participate, it's easier when everybody around them is doing the exact same thing. I mean, consider it a, a good kind of peer pressure, I guess. Uh, and I call this game Jump, Clap, Stomp, Shout. And it's very, very simple, but don't let that fool you. Simple does not mean easy. There's only a couple of rules like all my favorite improv games have. Um, and, and we start off slowly, all right? So we start off just by having them march. So everybody on your feet and march. Stop. And march. Stop. And then we'll add a move, all right? We're going to add clap. So we have march, stop, clap. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, no big deal so far, right? So then we add shout. All right, and this is good, again, for, for kids who sometimes have trouble using their voices. Speaking up and speaking loudly happens a lot in my experience in these Zoom classes. Uh, maybe it does in yours as well. But when I say shout, they shout their names. Uh, Billy, Cindy, Nolan, Finn, whatever the case may be. Um, and so now we have march, we have stop, we have clap, and we have name. Tyrone, okay? So far, so good, right? And nothing all that complicated, okay? But now we're gonna mix it up a little bit, all right? Now, march means stop, and stop means march. So we're just gonna stick with those two for right now. So we'll say march, nothing. And we'll say stop, and everyone starts marching, right? March, stop. Okay, once you feel like they've got that down, you can flip the clap and the shout. So now clap means shout and shout means clap, all right? So you say stop, shout, clap, Billy, stop, march, okay? So you can see how complicated this can get, especially when we add two more things. We're gonna add jump, and we're gonna add bow, all right? So let's just stick with those two for one second. Let's just say jump, bow, jump, bow, jump, bow. And when they've got that down, then guess what we're gonna do? Yep, you guessed it, we're gonna flip them. So now jump means bow and bow means jump. So bow, jump, bow, jump. And now we've got six moves and all of them are reversed, all right? So march means stop, stop means march, clap means shout, shout means clap, bow means jump, and jump means uh, bow. Oh, it's hard to keep track of my own head, right? Um, and I'm the one leading it, right? So uh, we say stop, bow, jump, stop, shout, I messed my, my, I messed my own self up. But you get the gist of it, right? Uh, and you can actually play elimination if you want uh, as well. So if anybody does the wrong move, they're out and they sit down, right? It's a marvelous game. It gets people moving. It gets people laughing. Instant engagement, and I promise you the kids are absolutely gonna love it. Uh, if, this, if this video adds value to your life, please do smash that like button. Uh, for another great video, check this one out. This is so much fun as well, I promise you. Take my word for it, you're gonna love it. Uh, and if you like my videos, then why not consider subscribing to my channel so you're gonna be kept up to date on, on everything that I release. Uh, th thanks for joining me today. Stay safe out there, be well, take care of yourselves, take care of someone else. We'll talk to you soon, bye-bye. Jump!
that was totally wrong. <laughs>